Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube uh, tutorial series. In today's uh, tutorial, we are going to learn how to create our own bottom navigation bar in our Flutter application. Uh, you know, there are many packages out there that developer, Flutter developer use uh, to ease the tax of uh, this bottom navigation bar. But my deal, uh, using too many packages is actually not a good idea using too many packages like just a, a small thing that you can do on your own if you use a package for it it's not actually uh, advisable so there's some little do, little little tasks that you can do on your own than just trying to get a package you know if the owner of the package didn't update the package and you are using it on a live app uh, the package might cause an error on your live project and can uh, do something very bad. So, if you want to achieve a small tax that is not that uh, large, that a package is not that necessary for you, that you can actually find your way around it, I'd advise you to actually find your way around it uh, rather than using too many packages on small small tasks. so let's dive straight into this top first of all let me just clear all these uh comments mind you this tutorial we're going to be using a custom icon so if you want to learn how to use a custom icon in flutter kindly check my previous uh video the link will be in the description so let me uh because we are going to be using a custom icon in this tutorial and i won't be explaining that because there's already a video done uh, for that purpose you can see this, the last video this is what we did these two list are this home and love button so let's get started uh, after below our banner we can have our button navigation a widget there's already a widget for it. so bottom navigation with our bottom navigation bar this is it so inside our bottom navigation bar we have a required uh parameter which is items the list of items that we want to display on each uh index of the bottom on on each index of the navigation so on each items, this item takes in a bottom navigation bar item. So just call bottom, bottom. Sorry about that. Bottom navigation. Sorry. Bottom navigation bar item. Then the item. The item has two parameters. Icon. Ah uh, no the bottom navigation bar item has several parameters which is icon type to label action icon color all this stuff but we are going to be using to just the icon and label so the icon uh we are going to be using our custom icon so you can check the previous um tutorial for how to use a custom icon so our first one will be home home then our label a label contains string this label contains string so it's going to be string only boom and that's that for this uh, this is our item one for item two let me just duplicate this into four uh pieces one two three so i come then uh saved check the tutorial on how to uh, create your own custom icon to get what i'm trying to do here it's just a few minutes tutorial so here we have our download download icon then downloads sorry downloads then user profile the user then uh let us call it profile if we refresh now we have this okay the icons are by default white so let's customize the icons now so here we have several other parameters like selected icon selected item color all those stuff 
So let's just uh, search for unselected, unselected item icon team. So the unselected icon team should be icon team data. Icon team data with color. Let's just set it to uh, gray with a gradient of 400. If you refresh now, you are going to get green. Okay, these are green. Uh, this home is the selected one. So, uh, the selected icon team, we give it a thick black, same data, and colors, color, colors dot black. Um, then we can refresh, and that's that. As you can see, these icons are staggering. We can set it to fixed or uh, staggering. So there's a parameter called type. Then type accept. If you over this is uh, bottom navigation bar type. So bottom navigation bar type. Type. We only have two fixed and shifting. So we are going to set it to fixed. So fixed. All this icon will be fixed. As you can see, these are the icons, they are all fixed. So, for this uh, label uh, string, also you can set a default, you can set you can change the color or the theme or whatever. So, for that, we are not going to be uh, exploring the stuff. You can just come here and check selected item label style, selected item color, selected font size. And that is that. So if we refresh now, let's just refresh. And you can see when we are clicking the icons, they are not changing. They are not changing, they are not moving. But we want each of the icons to move to each other pages. So um inside this bottom navigation bar we have uh a parameter called on tap, just like our buttons. On tap for our on tap, I'm going to create a method for this on tap. So on tap, we still have another um, parameter called current index. The current, you know, this items is a list. So the current index of these items, we are going to be getting the current index to be able to switch to each uh, pages. So I just create a, uh, the current index is an integer. So let us create an integer here. Yeah. Int has to be current index, and by default, it should be zero. So, our current index will be this. Then, on top, let's set a main, let's uh, create a method for our on top here, yeah. a function method. So, on, on, on top. On top, because this on top is a function with an integer that has set an integer. So, uh, in index, the index of the item list. Then we are going to set the state of the previous uh, of the previous item to the current one. So, our current index, our current index of this item will be equal to the index our current index will be equal to this integer index over here and that's that so just call this on top on top and um, paste it here and that's that so now you know uh, in our body now in each uh, these icons when we tap it's going to accept the body in our body now, we are going to be display the index of these icons and the widgets inside. So for that, to create uh, a widget on each uh, this uh, icon, I'm going to create a list of widgets. So the list of widgets is going to be taken for the index of this guy. So list, then list of widgets. Actually, so let's just call it. Uh, widgets list and that's that the list close the uh, function so in our body now instead of 
instead of this same term stuff in our body now let me just copy it and delete it in our body now we are going to be calling this list this list of widgets so the list widget list okay so inside this widget list we are going to have the current index uh this uh this icon is on so will be this current index this integer current index we have over here so current current index this is it over here current index and that's that so whenever we tap on this it's going to shoot to it's going to switch to index one so on index one this body will be on index one on index two this body this download will be on index two and that's that the uh the last index so now we need to add value to this index this uh you know this uh list contain widget so let's just ask a dummy uh widget so just a container a container with a uh with a child that's contain a text text sorry i misspelled this so containers so let's just call it page one and just duplicate this to four because we only have four icons here if it's more than the index of the icon you are going to get an error so two two three and four and that's that so if we or to restart the app now again to get uh, this widget so basically it moves to uh, pay two uh, instantly and download also as you can see it's switching pay theory uh, and profile page four this is what uh, you are using a package for that you can do on your own uh, with is so uh, as you can see is move download saved and home if you want it to be shifting you can change the type of the button navigation to shift instead of this fixed you want some animation also you know, refresh uh, the icon is going to be shifting as you can see so you need to change the label uh color to something else because on this shifting is going to be white by default so let just uh so change that on selected label style so let's just text style a uh, text style with a color on selected label uh label style should, should be gray like the icon so 400 then the selected one the selected label style and a text style then color uh, color And that's that. If we refresh now, we're going to see our label. So if we restart now, we're going to see our uh, color. So restart. Uh, try to uh, set this color also face color. So on the item that is showing, the face color will be this. So it's going to be showing the label. So this one also download our profile, and that's that. So we will change it to fixed back. I'm still going to get our icon, the bottom navigation icon list fixed, and this is awesome. Instead of using uh, a package for this, you can basically use this. You can basically use, do this on your own. It only takes a few lines of code, which is awesome. And that's that. Uh, in case you want to switch to widgets, you know this list contains widgets. You can you can create another class name. Let me just quickly do that. Widget. The app name should be page uh, page one. Page one. Page one. So this one should be scaffold. It should return a scaffold. Then inside our scaffold should have a body. Then I copied our previous code over there, so I've just pasted it. Let me change this to five. Then um 
then delete this then just copy the class name and on our first index i'm going to replace it with our class name and that's that we will refresh need to refresh place us uh, reload initially because it needs to load up on uh, that page you can see in this class this is what we have and that's what is showing over here also so if we click on this if we click on save we're going to show page two because on our second index this is what we declare we create another page for this you need to still share page uh the what you have in that class and that is that so thank you guys for watching i think that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly do so turn on the notification you can follow me on social media if you have any other challenges or you want to ask any other question uh my username is take with some uh, the link or the link will be in the description below kindly subscribe share with your developers friends share with in any group you are in and i will see you in the next series before i go in the next series we are going to be treating uh flutter notification background fetch uh sending notification to a particular user and all various form of notification that you might think of uh next in the next series which is i plan it to do it uh next week so tell all your developers friend all those that have asked how to perform an notification with navigation also that you can navigate to a, a specific page on your app all that will be treated in that series so tell all your or developers when that want to know about this knowledge to come to this channel and subscribe uh, turn on the notification to receive updates whenever I upload those videos. Thanks and see you in the next series. Bye.